guys, it's Jake here once again. Another package has arrived today, um, which again means another Jurassic Park unboxing. Where did I put my trusty dusty blade? So here's the package. I won't pop it in the actual video um, because there is the sender's address on here. So obviously we're not going to do that. Now where the heck can I open this from? Here. So again, I don't know which this is. I probably should look at them and uh, see the senders and stuff when I uh, when I receive the package as to like which it is. But uh, I guess it sort of takes away the surprise factor. I like being able to open the box and uh, get a bit of a surprise. But Dylan's not here with this one today. He is back at school. Um, oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. This one here. Not a dinosaur this time. I'm sure you guys can see that. You got to put the packaging up uh, through the, uh, the bubble wrap there. So I'm sure you guys know exactly what this is. Let's open the bubble wrap. If I can get the bubble wrap open. So this is the Explorer, um, obviously a very iconic car from the first movie, it's the, the tour car that they take the, the ride in as they tour around Jurassic Park. Now this one here, you see a lot of these on eBay with bits and bobs missing and all their pieces missing or they've got damage and stuff like that, but this one is in essentially like perfect condition so it has the front bar it pops on it's got the back obviously this opens up to have the missile which is actually in here so that's included as well um so honestly this is in pretty good condition um, what can happen as well is that the um, the front can actually come off and then you get dyno damage. So as I was saying, a lot of the time uh, they either have this missing, this part missing, or even this is broken off. But this one is in amazing condition. There we go. So that, that, that there is to act like dyno damage. So if it was to be attacked by a dinosaur, that would all come off. Um, and this opens up as I said to reveal the missile which will open up now and get the missile attached now so all, these are all the bits so these are actually um, what they call the DNA darts so essentially when it gets pushed down here it resets it when it gets shot off it then fills up with DNA so when it gets shot at a different dinosaur at a dinosaur it then adds the DNA here we have it these are the missiles here's the little camera and then once you open up the back flap you've then got your missile attached there. So this is pretty cool. So how these work, so once these get shot out and they hits the dyno, uh, it fills up with a red bar in this little gap here, which I'll demonstrate to you. We'll take the missile off, it's a little bit easier. So you add that into there like that, shoot it, and now you've, uh, you've obtained your dyno DNA, which is now what the red is. To then reset that and to get it back to being empty, you just push it down, on these ports here, which is actually where they're stored as well. Oh, that didn't work. Which is where they're stored, but it also then resets the DNA. Again, just something that I wish I had um, when I was a, a kid. Uh, and obviously now, being an adult, I can buy these things for myself, um, and I can just display them on my shelf. That shelf there used to uh, display my uh, hype shoe collections, so all my Air Jordan 1s and stuff like that which are now being stacked back up in that and they're just sort of sitting on different shelves in the room. And now it is holding my JP Jurassic Park uh, collectible toys um, from 1993 and 1997. So that's really cool. I wasn't expecting to receive this one yet, but I'm super glad it's here. Um, Cool. 
Uh, I wasn't expecting this one yet, but I'm super glad it's here and I can't wait to add it onto the shelf, which I'm going to do in a second uh, and get this set up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like always, if you did enjoy, leave it a thumbs up and we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.